What's up guys, Lethal Legend here and today I am bringing you a late night video on my channel guys and it is because Team of the Season is dropping on Friday so we basically have all day tomorrow, most of the day Friday, then 6 o'clock Friday, Team of the Season is going to drop guys. So I just want to talk about a few things basically to do with SBCs I'm doing to stock up my packs ready for that first Team of the Season drop guys, T showing you a lot of them that are well worth doing. And, you know, hopefully you guys will use the initiative off that and go and find more that are worth doing. Because there are so many in the game right now that are worth doing, guys. So the first thing I'm going to talk, talk about is swap deals. And I personally am going to be doing the ultimate pack, guys. I actually don't want to use this Diara because a lot of people are saying he might be used well in the PSG one instead of a Kalot Mbappe if he gets Young Player of the Year. So for that reason, I'm doing the last one you can do by playing 16 games. I have four games left to play. And I'm going to save that player and do him in, and use him instead of the Diara so I can get this foot swap um, ultimate path, guys. I'm not going for the players. At this point, let's be honest, the players are irrelevant and you will never get any coins back of them. I'm going to get myself a tradable ultimate pack. And personally, I suggest you guys do the same. Each to their own. If there's a card in there that you really want, that Payette looks sick, then of course... Go and do that, guys. But for me, I'm going to be putting it into an ultimate pack because I think the ultimate pack is the best value considering what, what we've got here, guys. So that is what I'm going to do. But like I said, I've got Diara in there for now. But I will be getting the last player out of the weekly objectives and changing him for Diara. So that's the first thing I wanted to talk about is that I'm personally going to do the ultimate pack. And that's going to be one of my packs I've stocked up for, guys. Now let me go and show you the packs I've already saved up because this is a big part of it. And I got two of these packs from doing the squad battles, doing my five a, five a week, which gives, gives you 12k and two 15k packs. I then got five of them, I believe. Is it five, two, five? So that would be seven, yeah. So I got, I've done five of them, and the five I did, I got from the marquee matchups. But I did open one of them from the marquee matchups. So only four of these are from the marquee matchups, guys. So as you can see, I've got a jumbo premium gold pack, jumbo premium gold pack. So these are 15k packs, rare gold pack, premium gold players, premium gold players, premium gold players, prime election players. Premium Electrum Players Pack, not Prime, sorry, Premiums, Rare Mix Players Pack. So they're the 11 I have so far, guys. And I got all of these, I believe all of them anyway, from the, let me go to my favourites, I've got it saved here, the Liga Santander, guys. So uh, Atletico Madrid is about 100k to do, Barcelona is like 150k to do, Real Madrid is like 150k to do. So that makes up 400k of this SBC that costs around 500k to do. But the rest of them are so cheap, guys. And the packs you get are just uh, really, really good. Let's have a look what you get. Jumbo Premium Gold Pack for this one. These are all like 10k or under to do these SBCs as well. Use Footbin to check what they're going for, guys. Check the pack. Check how much it costs to do. Like that for 10k. Like this one for 10k isn't as great a deal. But some of them are really good. Premium Electrum Players Pack. That one I'm sure, I'm sure is like 10k as well. The, what other ones do we have in here that I haven't done already? This one is for a rare mix players pack. So that is 12 players that are all rare, guys. So you get yourself four rare players in there that are gold. That one, I'm sure, is very cheap. So I've checked them all, guys. They're all really worth doing. I'm going to be going ahead and doing these tonight and tomorrow now. That's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing as much SBCs. You get yourself a premium gold players pack for Seville. I'm not sure how much that one costs. I haven't checked that one, guys. Um, but go and check these league SBCs especially the Santander one, guys. They're the cheapest ones for the best packs. Almost every one gives out a good pack, so it's just really worth going and have a look. Rare Electrum Players Pack there for doing that one, guys. If you do this one, that gives you six rares, six silvers in that one, which is absolutely brilliant, guys. And that one, I'm sure, is about 10k or less as well, and that's probably about a 30 to 35k pack. I can't remember how much they cost when they're on the market. It's not the only league you can do, though. If you go to League SBCs, there are a lot in... The Liga Nos, if you haven't touched them, I would stay away from the A-League. There's plenty in the Bundesliga. Dortmund, for instance, gives out a 45k pack Prime Electrum Players Pack. Not Prime Electrum, just Prime Players Pack, sorry. Loads in the Calcio A. A few good ones in the Championship. Same for Eredivisie and Liga 1. Not really any in these two leagues here, the Major League and the Liga Beacon. They can be done for really cheap, the whole lot, guys. But there's not too many to do for this. The Premier League. I haven't actually looked at the Premier League yet, guys. Rare election players pack. There's probably a few if you can get them cheap. I'm not sure how much the pre uh, Premier League players are going for. They seem to be expensive. But at the moment, I think they're quite cheap, guys. Prime gold players there for Chelsea. You need an 83-rated team, though. So that's way too expensive for that one, guys. 
I'd probably stay out of the Premier League. So anyway, that is basically what I wanted to cover today. Just a really small late video on the channel. I'm probably going up around 10, half 10, depending on how fast I can get through the edit inside of it, guys. I wanted to bring this to you, though, because we only have a day and a half. So I want to bring it as fast as possible. And I was really shocked when I did some of the Liga Santander SBCs in particular just how cheap they were all coming in at under 10k some are as cheap as 5 and 6k guys and you're getting yourself really good packs to open on friday to hopefully get yourself some tradable team of the week players like i said at the start of the video i also suggest if you haven't submitted your swap players yet to go ahead and submit them for an ultimate pack in my opinion that's the way to go on it guys so let me know if you've got any packs stacked up in the comment section down below i'm going to leave this video here so if you like the video like the video subscribe if you want to see more thanks for watching as always, and take it easy.